morning. It is October what? 26. Halloween's coming up. And if you don't recognize the view, I'm up on Mount Lemon. And uh uh, even the cabin. Today's agenda is uh, to finish a hike I started with my wife a while back. She wasn't able to complete. get it done before winter comes so I can check this off my bucket list. I'll be doing the uh, Aspen Trail to Marshall Gulch Loop. You've done part of that with me, Marshall Gulch. The Aspen Trail part of we knew. It's listed as a moderately difficult climb. I got all the way up to the steepest descent with the wife. Um, and uh, she could not continue so we turned around and came back. I did not find that part of it too difficult and then after you do that ascent, you uh, summit a saddle, and, and then you're all downhill from there. So, it should be a good hike. My legs aren't in condition because summer haven't been out hiking much, and you've noticed that with the lack of videos being posted. where we're at for right now once I get down uh, off the mountainside here get down to the trailhead we'll start our journey see you then all right well we're down at the trailhead is uh, Marshall Gulch there. Last time we were down here, there's a trail that goes down this way. I think it's called the Sunrise or something like that. And we missed. We missed the Aspen Trail trailhead here because some jack hat and a Porsche had parked in the entrance to the trailhead, so you couldn't see the trailhead, you couldn't see the sign. So we hiked down this sunset trail, or whatever it's called for. Oh, a mile or so, and uh, I stopped, and my wife asked what was going on. I said, we're not going in the right direction. I said, I know how this trail runs. I researched it before I came out. We're going in the opposite direction. And I said, you know, 
Maybe it goes down and loops back around, but it's not feeling like that. I said, I think we need to go back. And so we came back up here to the trailhead. And, uh, as we were coming up through here, we saw people walking on this trail here. And I went, that's our trail. So, we stopped down here because we didn't know where the trailhead was. We hiked up this incline here. <laughs> A little bushwhacking through the weeds. That was fun. So, we got up to this tree up here and took a break for lunch. Because <laughs> it was hard. It was right here. This is what we climbed up. I don't know if you can see that. That was a hard little climb. So, I took a break for lunch up here. And I got some pictures of it. I'll post along with this video of the fail. The Aspen Trail fail. Now I... I've got a felt, I guess you'd call it felt, bandana arm, and uh, I got some insulated driving gloves on, because today's top temp is supposed to be 58 degrees, it's currently 48 degrees, up here on Mount Lemon. I've got my base layer on my Hey Hawaii dry fit hoodie on. And I got a puppy in here in my day pack and a rain jacket in my day pack. And I meant to pull a umbrella out of the X. But I forgot. So hopefully that's not gonna be an issue. Yesterday while I was working. We started hearing this noise. We could not figure out what it was. And it turned out to be a massive downpour. Water was just pouring in buckets off the roof for the hospital. Parts of the ceiling were leaking. we as employees found 
somewhat humorous because we can afford to put in dedicated physician parking but not maintain the roof on the hospital but the powers that be you I learned that lesson the hard way. I can't tell you how nice it is to take that three quarter mile walk down the road to the trailhead. And how nice it is to be back up here on the mountain. This will probably be our last visit for the year up here, unless, and I am thinking about doing this, I wanna pick an evening where I know it's gonna be especially cold and get access from the kids to the cabin but sleep outside on the drive and test my gear for warmth because some of the YouTubers have been posting some pretty cold evening temps and I need to need to test what my gear can tolerate and what I can tolerate all right this is going to be our climb in our view for a bit so I will catch up with you guys later let's get into this hike oh this trail uh, I should I guess I should say on all trails is listed on being a uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how many miles it is. But uh, a two and a half, three hour hike of uh, moderate difficulty. We'll see. I've got the uh, tracker turned on, so we'll see how many miles we get out of this. Talk to you in a bit.
I don't know if y'all could hear that buzzing. I thought it was somebody flying a drone, but it doesn't seem to be moving. And it seems to be groaning, emanating from the same spot. So I'm wondering if that is a very large hive of bees. Possible. Gotten up into uh, some of the rocks up there or something. Now, it's a Wednesday. Um, and Mount Lemon is popular. And it's getting towards the end of the season. But... While there was a lot of people cycling up Mount Lemon, which is, I, I, can, I cannot imagine that, 25 miles straight uphill. Um, actually, probably about 30 miles straight uphill. But the old timers come out and do it all the time. So, I don't suspect we'll run into too many people along the trail but we could it's coming close to the end of the season and there's a lot of wealthy retired people that uh, winter down here We are in the Push Ridge Wilderness, in case you were wondering, Coronado National Forest. Parts of this trail are <laughs> kind of fun. This is nice right here. This is nice and open. There's a section we go through that is thin, tight, socked in with bushes. You can see it. We're heading into it here. We'll be heading up along that way. We're at 7,711 feet in elevation. 
We just completed a mile from when I turned the phone on, which was not about the cabin, because I forgot. But fall is it is it fall or just the end of summer I think it's fall hard to tell here in the desert <laughs> to the rest of y'all we we have two seasons summer and fall There are people that say we have spring, but we don't. It's just the end of fall and beginning of summer. The quaking aspen are dumping their leaves, changing their colors. You can see the trail is moist. We have clouds that come over. We got something on top of us right now that uh, will dump some rain. And by the time I get my day packed off and get my rain jacket on, which is unfortunately packed at the bottom of my day pack, well, it passed over. However, some of these clouds will come in, and while they are just passing by, the upper winds take them along pretty quickly. The elevation just has them dump rain and hail, and it gets pretty dicey. okay you got to prepare yourself for all eventualities right and it's not that bad since I'm moving you know 48 degrees it's only going to get 10 degrees warmer up here And I was, I was doubtful about coming up today because a high of 58, I think it had a low of 42 maybe last night, 38, 42, I don't know, I have to look it up. Did not sound inviting to me. And I suppose if there was a wind blowing right now at 48 degrees, it would not be that pleasant. But since I'm moving, it's not that bad. I feel like I don't need the insulation gloves on. These are my driving gloves for when it is... Uh, Hundred and three, hundred and five out makes the ins inside of your car and your steering wheel very warm. And while you could wear thin leather gloves, the heat just burns through those. So these are actually insulated gloves. 
like wearing an oven mitt, but stylish. And it looks to me, and I am pretty sure, that the trail maintenance crew has come through here and widened this, because I seem to recall that this trail was that wide when I came through here last time. Something crashing up behind us. I should mention, just for all the legalese and stuff like that, I am sponsored by nobody. And all the thoughts and the impressions and that are expressed are my own. It would be my humble and sage advice if y'all to disregard most if not all of it. How was that for a disclaimer? Oh yeah, they definitely widen this out. Up around over here, I chased a woodpecker around a tree trying to get a shot of him. I'll post that, splice that in. Well, we got an incline ahead of us, so I'm going to let you all take a rest, and I'll uh, set soldier on without you. Take care. Just quick pause. So that buzzing that I thought was drones or bees are weed whackers and chainsaws. And we got these awesome folk up here doing trail maintenance on the Aspen Trail. Guardians of the forest. Turn up. Well. The incline has leveled out for the time being. We have uh, some very steep switchbacks coming up in front of us. We are, as you can tell by the surroundings, this part of the 
aspen trail got lit up in the aspen fire. Um, that and that that was great. Um, those young people out here working on the trail. I failed to ask them if they're part of the U of A, maybe up here for a class, extra credit or something, <laughs> or if they're part of the U.S. Forest Service, or maybe the Sierra Club, or some organization like that. I neglected to ask. But that was great to see them out here. And it takes a, a Herculean effort like that to get that stuff done. I've always pictured the lone Forest Service employee out here just painstakingly whacking away at the trail day after day so that by the time he finishes he has to go back and start all over again. Well, that would be a great job. <laughs> kind of like being a night cook. And for those that you that aren't in the restaurant industry, when you're a night cook, you uh, finish your, your shift, you clean the kitchen. It is immaculate, everything shiny. And then when you show up the next day for work, it is a disaster area because the breakfast cooks, they're messy people. Whereas if you're a breakfast cook, <laughs> you walk into a beautiful shiny kitchen and you walk out and you go, glad I don't have to clean that up. So, the buzzing is chainsaws, weed whackers, These, this group of people were uh, using all hand tools. Kind of a shame because if they, the weed whackers and the chainsaws weren't going, this would be a noisy place with different noises. Migratory birds heading south. Squirrels. Here. I heard on the news the other day them cautioning people that with the drop in temperatures the rattlesnakes would be coming out. I'm kind of thinking that meant down below. A rattlesnake's out here in 48 degrees, he ain't gonna be moving fast. And it'd be a little hard for him to find a ray of sunshine to warm up in. And those, those are mountain folk we passed by. They were quite happy to be up here in 48 degrees, thought it was wonderful. <laughs> I don't 
Like, man, give me triple digits. So we're going to round this corner here. Walk along this edge. And then we're going to take some very steep switchbacks up here. Uh, up to the saddle. So, actually, yeah, am I going that way? <laughs> um, and then we're up to the saddle. We'll get up to the saddle, we'll stop, have a snack, and uh, start our descent. So we'll talk to you guys in a bit. Just wanted to give you a shot of that. So, not too awfully bad, this 48 degrees and moving with no wind blowing. Not getting any feels like 30 type temps up here. No, it's, it's pleasant. Start the switchbacks. Got a squirrel up here throwing shit at me. Um, we just finished the two mile mark. We are at 8,425 feet elevation and just passed our first signs of hiking life. And we're still heading up. And not to the saddle yet. I think, if I recall, all trails. We gotta get up this ascent before we ascend to the saddle. And it's flattened out a bit. I just wanted to give you that mileage and elevation update. And uh, we'll talk to you at the top. Well, I'm not exactly sure where this saddle is. But I feel like we should be getting close. The, the trail, absolutely delightful. I, I'm, I don't know where they get this moderate difficulty at. It was definitely a moderate trail. It's not that long. Um, the sensor sense it wasn't that difficult. We already know that the Marshall Gulch part of the loop is not that difficult. We will be going down that instead of coming up with this. Ascending the Aspen Trail wasn't that bad. Absolutely beautiful up here. Clouds are hanging low. Temperature's nice.
I got a confession to make. I had my first burger in ooh two three months now. This morning, went and got a Culver's breakfast burger. Not sponsored by Culver's either. Not sponsored by Camelback. Not sponsored by DJI. It's their action camera you're seeing this on. Not sponsored by Cascade Mountain Tech. That's the trekking poles I use. Been using over the last couple of years. They work great. Apparently we needed a is a little peak over here and that's a little peak over there so maybe this is the saddle right down here I'm not exactly sure why people would come from the picnic area which I feel is right down off over here not the picnic area, but the junction of trails to come up here to eat. It just doesn't look that special. But whatever. Maybe this isn't the saddle. Maybe I'm not there yet. And I can tell you. When you hit Josephine's saddle on the Baldy Trail, you know you're there and you're glad to be there. gonna have to pick his feet up. The trail went from being a nice forest floor to being rocky. Maybe this was the thing back before the fire and it was socked in with trees and probably nice lush green ground cover. Or maybe I'm not there yet. Who knows? Oh, I see people coming down the trail up here. No, so maybe I'm not there yet. Maybe I'm prejudging this set. <laughs> It appears we have another ascent coming up. I'll let y'all go. And uh, I'll catch up with you at the top. Talk to you in a bit. Well, let me pick up my truck and pull. I don't know what to tell you all. <laughs> Is that the saddle right here? 
unimpressed. Um, now heading downhill again. We've just completed three miles. We're at 8,333 feet. Pass by one, two, three, four, five sets of hikers. Uh, one family of four, but the rest were couples. Uh, the first two to three were young. The last set were uh, In my age bracket or older it's hard to tell all the people that I've been taking care of at the hospital lately have been in and around my age and when they find out how old I am they tell me they thought I was 35 or 45 when I loan them my glasses so they can see a little better. This right here, I like this in here. Tall pines, pine needle floor. down amongst these uh, little peaks here it's quiet coming up this uh, ridge on this other side here it was a percussion concert of woodpeckers getting after the pine beetles it was kind of cool to just stop and listen it must have been I don't know five or so of them just knocking away at the wood I dropped my water bottle. I'm gonna shut you guys off. I'll see you at the uh, junction of trails. We'll have a little lunch. Talk to you in a bit. Tucson in the distance. Catalinas heading out into. Uh, Push Ridge, Wilderness of Rocks down through here. No name radio up top.
clouds are hanging low. I hope we don't get wet. Well, here we are at the junction of trails. It's all pretty much downhill from here and actually has been downhill for a while now. Lovely rock formation. A hoodoo. Right there. That's just wild. And there's my favorite log. to have a seat, not tired, feet feel good, I feel good, so this has been a pleasant, pleasant journey, I'll give you a quick weather report here in about 30 feet. Junction of trails, the rest of the Aspen Trail heads on that way and loops up around and goes up into Summer Haven, which I am thinking we will go to and have dinner. Just a thought. There's a Sheltie. Marshall Gulch heading down that way, Mint Trail, Wilderness of Rocks out that way. Put the trekking poles down. Get my gloves off. Pull my phone out. See if there's a cell signal at this. One degrees. Alrighty, 1256. Gonna have some lunch. Talk to you guys in a bit. Well, that was a nice little five, ten minute break. Time to go down the mountain. Young lady passed by with her little Sheltie. That <laughs> just seems so unfair to that dog. Ugh. But, you know, made it up here. Now he's just got to make it down. It's uh, getting overcast, dark, getting socked in. beautiful off this way which is thank goodness the way we're heading but that is as it is wont to do in the desert it tends to rain in the late afternoon so we best be on our way trail sign, as you may recall from our other trips up here on Marshall Gulch, is part of the Arizona Trail, coming up from Wilderness of Rocks. And I wonder if any of you uh, subscribers, and you have subscribed, right? 
if you've uh, no because there's several trails up here that I'll take you to the same location the mint trail the Aspen trail the Marshall Gulch trail there's a trail that comes up from um, 25 that goes up to bug overview or something like that and uh, then you could road hike up into Summer Haven if you took any of those trails and you were doing the Arizona Trail would you still have done the Arizona Trail or do you have to specifically stay on the Mark Trail reason I ask is right now class of 2023 has got a reroute because of a fire so I would think that that qualifies as the people from the Arizona Trail and the National Forest Service and all those powers that be I said well you can't walk through the middle of a fire so we'll count this And then I noticed some post about two other trails that you could take. One through Flagstaff, taking you to have a zero in Flagstaff. And one called the Clearwater, Clear Creek, something like that trail. You end up back on the Arizona Trail on both those. But if you get off the Arizona Trail, did you do the Arizona Trail? Just random thoughts. And you know, of course, I mentioned this on one of my earlier videos. I've been thinking about doing, when I do my southbound, seeing if I can take a mule up the canyon, because that just sounds fun to me. And if that's cheating, taking a mule up because it's not a continuous footpath although you can ride a horse through the Arizona Trail and you'll have done the Arizona Trail you can ride a bike on the Arizona Trail and you've done the Arizona Trail but like I said if, if I can work out the logistics of that with the pack horse people I'd like to do that I'd like to ride a mule up the Grand Canyon up to the North Rim just sounds fun tell me what you think down in the comments like and subscribe and do all that other stuff that you do. We got more hikes coming up. We'll be doing quite a few in the fall into the winter. Hikes in the rain, cold winter rain. Uh, be doing some overnights maybe even one up here just to see how my gear will hold up for being on Humphreys 